Welcome back to Dyson Sphere program, folks. We are having a beautiful sunrise here. Look at that. Here it comes. So beautiful. I love it. It's absolutely amazing. Wonderful. And we don't have the gas giant to obscure us this time, so that's nice. Alright, so last time we got iron ingot smelting, copper ingot smelting, and uh, magnets smelting. So that is all going. Now, we want to get research going with our matrix labs here. And if we stick down a matrix lab, we'll see that matrix to produce lab, these... You can use it to make super matrices, or yep. research technologies that require them to unlock. The super matrices are the source code of the center brain for maintaining the home world. You could upload as many super matrices to the center. There we go. Takes a while for him to be quiet when you click. Uh, so we need magnetic coils and we need circuit boards. And we can make both things now. So that is nice. Let's remove that again, because we don't need it yet. But we do need more of them. Can we make some? No, we need magnetic coils. Uh, so let's grab some magnets. And let's grab some copper plate, copper ingots. And let's produce another three. We actually need want another four. So what are we missing? We're missing glass, which is stone. So let's go grab some stone. We have some right here. And let's just grab some trees while we're at it. So can we make it now? Yes, we can. So we want six of these, and I will explain why when we put them down. We already have two, we're producing four more, so that's all good. And our mecha needs some fuel in its chamber. There we go. Okay. Okay. How many belts do we have? 106. How many sorters? Not that many. So let's uh, produce 10 sorters as well. Mecha's core energy is insufficient, but it's not because we just filled it up with fuel, so that's fine. All right, now I think we're going to do the sciencey stuff over here, and then we'll do all the other production over here. So, sciencey stuff. We need some uh, magnetic coils, and for that we need assemblers. So, I th actually think I want to stick the magnetic coil assembler in here, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, let's give ourselves a little bit of space. So, you want to make magnetic coils. That takes a second. So, that means that we need more smelters for these guys. Okay. We can do that. And some sorters. There we go. And you, of course, need to make the magnets. Okay. And then we need to get this going up. Just come up here, go in there, and go in there. And you will 
come over here and go up here. All right, uh, let's change that a bit. There. Okay. Let's get these built. Alrighty. Almost there. There we go. Then we need a Tesla tower. We can stick one right here. And then we can feed this in and feed this in. And now we are making magnetic coils. Which I think we want to take out into a storage. We don't have any storages. Uh, we can produce five, so let's do that. They take stone as well. So let's just go grab some more stone because we are going to need it. So let's do that. some more stone and we also have our first storages and I think what we'll do is we'll stick a storage in here and then we'll direct you from storage which can be used to store cargo you can manually store or use the sorter to automatically stock the cargo all right so these two are feeding into this storage which is great and then that storage can go out into our uh, research. Now, we also need to make circuits for our research. Uh, so let's do that. And I think we'll build two of these. And you make uh, circuit boards. And you make circuit boards. And for that we need... Hmm. For that we need iron ingots. We have the copper ingots, that's not a problem. But we need iron ingots as well. You know what, I have changed my mind. I don't like this setup. I don't like this setup at all. Come on. Alright. So, we have our iron ingots, we have our copper ingots, and we have our magnets. So if we do like that, then we have all the things that we're smelting right now anyway, going up here. So that means that we can set up, let's just do it right here, some copper coils or uh, magnetic coils 
and some circuit boards. Now the question is, do we want to, uh, I think we do, I think we want to make more magnetic coils because we're going to need them for other stuff as well, right? Uh, let's make some more assemblers and produce four, so let's produce four. We need more iron ingots on us. Okay. Then we need some power. There will be fine. Alright, you make magnetic coils. Okay, so that's four machines making those. I wonder if, is that too many or not enough? I, I, I have no idea. I have no idea. plates. Okay, so we're making those now, uh, except there. Uh, we need a... let's just stick one there for now. Okay, so those are coming out. Uh, we need one more. Stick it there. Okay. Now, we are going to run into this stone deposit, so we're going to have to turn or something. I think we'll turn this way. Alright. Uh, we need fuel. Fine. Well, let's grab this and stick in here. Can we stick oil in there? We can. Okay. Alright, so we have a bit of fuel now. That's good. So the next thing is the circuit boards. If we... bend first and then we'll figure out where they where they go uh, so we need more belt and I actually don't think we're gonna need the mag magnets anymore so the magnetic coils can come up and Join the bus instead. Okay. This seems fine. 
then we can build these guys. One, two. Uh, let's see, how long does it take to make the circuit board? One second. I think we've made one too many, or maybe even two too many of these. Let's make three for circuit boards. No, let's make four for circuit boards as well. Okay. So make circuit boards, make circuit boards, and spit them out here. We're gonna need more sorters. Make 20 of those. Let's make some of those. Okay. So we need power. Stick them there. And let's see, we need that and that. Okay. Side of the power grid. So let's stick another one there. And now we're making circuit boards. And we need more sorters to spit them out. Okay. Now they need to join the bus, that's for sure. So let's have them join the bus here. And I think we'll stick down a couple of storages here. One of them for circuit boards, one of them for coils. And we'll stick down another Tesla tower here, and we'll stick down a Tesla tower down here as well, I guess. Okay, now, that's all we need to get our research going. So we can stick in three matrix labs on top of each other, which is really cool. It's kind of like adding um, adding modules in Factorio. So we will tell this uh, stack of matrix labs to produce electromagnetic matrices. And, you know what, we're going to need more wind turbines. Let's produce another eight. And then we're going to add another stack here. And this one will go from there to there. And then this will go Too close, damn. All right. Let's remove you as well then. Let's try that again, shall we? So it needs to come over here. There. OK. 
Okay. And you go in there. Ankles are wide. Damn it! All right. Dismantle. Let's try it one more time, shall we? Uh, oh, we need to refuel. Um, let's do that real quick. Come on. All right. We're getting some fuel. Wasn't that much fuel? Whoops. Let's grab these as well. Okay. That's better. But we don't have that much fuel. And we are way low on our core energy. Alright. Let's try it one more time. So here we'll do this, and then we'll do this. And we'll stick you in there, we'll stick you in there. We'll tell you to make those, we'll take you to research. We will you in there and we'll stick down a Tesla tower right here and now we're producing so we are producing our electromagnetic matrices or matrices I don't, how do you say it matrices or matrices and they're being filled into the matrix lab. But actually, I think I want to do something like this. Stick down a storage. And then stick them into the matrix labs. And can we stick those in there? We can. Okay, and you do research. All right, so now we are producing our matrices. So I think the first thing I want to do is go here, universe exploration. It only costs 10 of them. So let's activate that. And you can see that we are researching. So this will uh, able to view the veins distribution on the planet. And that is already done. Nice. You so, have unlocked the universe exploration. Now you can click the details display button in the lower right corner of the screen to open real time distribution details of the ore veins. Thank you. Uh, now this one takes 200. And then we can see the veins in the entire planetary system which is also very, very cool. But for now, I want to get the electromagnetic drive because I want to move faster, basically. And we can queue up uh, some stuff. So I want thermal power as well. We'll queue that up uh, because that'll allow us to do coal power and we'll queue up some different researches here and that and that okay and then we can queue up uh, let's see you take let's queue that as well so we have a lot of stuff in queued and research will just happen automatically because we are outstanding. 
research result, you have the electric motor. So we are just researching merrily. Let's see, do you have any stored up? No. So you're pulling it out fast enough. And we're producing 20 a minute. You have all the stuff you need. So it's not a problem. All right. Very nice. So thermal power research complete. Look at that. Research is flying, guys. It's flying. So you can use a thermal power station. It is a power generation generation facility that consumes combustibles to generate electricity and has energy efficiency. Nice. All right, let's see how is our power situation. We are almost uh, spending as much as we are producing. So what do we need to make one of these? We need some iron. Iron ingots, that is. So let's grab some of those. We can grab some coils as well. Okay. So we can produce 14 of them now. Let's just produce three. That means no more wind power is needed which is nice. We do need some more Tesla Towers, though. Produce 20 of those. And... Then we need assembling machines. Let's produce... Let's produce 10 of them. And assembling machines. Okay. So we have our thermal power over here. We need some miners as well. Uh, let's make two of them. Now, the next thing I want to do here is, I think, get some gears going. All right, there's our Mach 2. So we now have splitters and we have uh, Mach 2 sorters, which is really nice. Why can't I do that? The lighting. You're not colliding. Okay. All right, so our research gets first dibs on those things. So let's stick down some of these. We'll do one, two for now. Uh, that's not actually what I need in there, I think. So you need to make gears. And that is just iron. Uh, ingots. Stick down a Tesla tower. We're not there, actually. Because... need a belt. 
All right. So we're making gears. Do we have our, we do, our miners. So let's I got both? No. That's a shame. Alright, we'll stick to that then. Alright. Uh, need power. Stick it there. Alright, now we are producing coal. Then we have our these guys. And now we have steel smelting. Not bad. So these guys will go in here. A thermal power station. Three. Such power facilities need to consume chemical energy fuels. Or if you want it to generate continuous and stable power, you need to ensure a sufficient fuel supply at all times. Yep, that's my plan. I'm stuck. And I think we'll... I don't think they need sort of Mark 2s really. So let's just make some Mark 1s. Alright. You now have fuel and you are producing power. So we again have enough generation to, to keep up with our demand, which is nice. Okay. And we are now producing 14.6 megawatts. Because these have a tiny little area around them, so they are actually powering the, uh, the sorters. So yeah, 14.6 megawatts, not bad. And we are almost ready with the next research as well. I like it. So the gears, let's get them out. All right, you mastered more advanced smelting techniques and you can use smelter to purify ores to obtain pure materials. On a planet without silicon veins, smelting the stone ore into silicon ore is also a good choice. Okay. we actually need to make belts. We can do that now. We can produce belts. So we don't have to produce them ourselves. That will be kind of nice. Oh, we're out of energy again. Heck it. It's a major concern, this running out of energy. I don't like it. Fluid storage encapsulation. You unlock the fluid encapsulation technology, which allows transport fluids with conveyor belts. Also can store excess fluid in large capacity storage tank. Nice. All right, I think we're gonna go grab some coal. On the way there, we'll just grab some more trees. OK. 
Okay. Uh, you're full. So let's grab you. Uh, but I want to get a storage container here. And we'll stick in a... Somewhere here. Alright. Next research. You have mastered the plasma control technology. Now you can build a wireless power tower for remote power transmission and charge mecha. You can continue to study crude oil extraction and refining based on this technology. Nice. Alright. So we can stick this coal in here and that'll give us power for a little while at least. give us some power. Let's get back to work. So we have those now. We just need to get them out of there. Okay. And we need to get this going. Okay. So it seems like we still have enough of everything, which is good to see. Let's just get these out of the way. And now we can stick down some assemblers here. Well, I think one is enough, really. Stick down an assembler there. Tell it to make uh, conveyor belts. And it needs gears and iron ingots. So, gears, iron ingots. Ah, oh, it's too far. Oh no. Huh. How do we solve that? I know how. Let's dismantle this. So we need a splitter. We actually have one. I kind of want it right there. Splitter with four directions. It can split the passing cargo or balance the cargo on multiple conveyor belts. The splitting speed depends on the conveyor belt speed. Use the tab key to switch between different styles and click it to set priorities and filters. Tab key? Doesn't seem to do anything. Okay. Well. Now. You can come out that way. And this thing can come in here. Which means we can pull you back some. And then we can use our sorter. And now we are producing conveyors. Nice. And they go into here. Universe exploration level two. 
While able to view the vein reserves in the whole planetary system, you can view the vein resources of the entire planetary system. It is easier to plan different production lines. Okay. Well, we are producing those. Though, really not very fast. It's fine. It's fine. It's actually missing resources. Stops. So, let's dismantle you. Let's dismantle you. And we have our Mark II. Sorters. They're going faster now. You have all the resources. Ah, we need a faster output. better. That's better. Okay. So that's conveyors being made. Now, this does mean... Uh, before we get into that, let's quickly take a look at uh, the veins. So if we go here and take a look at veins distribution, we can see that we have crude oil, we have coal, we have iron, crude oil, copper, coal, stone, coal, iron, stone, another copper vein up there. So we can see all the veins on the planet. And if we do like this, we can see... In the planet view mode, look at that. you can hold down the middle mouse button drag, rotate the angle of view, and hold down the right mouse button, drag to roll the angle of view. Press N key to point to the front to the North Pole. All right, so that is pretty cool. We can see all the different veins. There is In the nothing planet here. View mode, slide the mouse wheel to <laughs> enter the star map dead. mode. The same here. Okay. And we have our little factory here. Very nice. All right, so we can also go to star map now and here we have our map we are on iota buddhist 3 uh, which has iron and copper stone and coal no silicon no titanium but if we take a look at iota uh, buddhist 2 then we have hydrogen and deuterium that we can collect and if we take a look at Iota Buddhist 1, which is a lava planet, we have iron, copper, silicon, titanium, stone, coal, and the ocean type is lava, with a nice construction error, 84.6%. So, yeah, that is very, very cool. And we even have Iota Buddhist 4, which I just feel jelly soul. Iron, copper, silicon, titanium, stone, coal. Construction error in 99.1%. Wow. Fire ice? What the heck is fire ice? 11 million of that. All right. And we can see that orbit radius uh, 1.985 uh, astronomical units. And orbital period, the rotation period, orbit inclination, planet's actual inclination. It's very cool. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. All right, but we have some basic uh, production going. We have science going, though we're not researching right now, but we do have a lot of uh, matrix is stored up so it is very very cool and we'll continue on in the next one 
where I think we will try and get sorters and everything set up so that we're producing basically everything. Uh, what components are we still needing to make? Well, quite a lot. Quite a lot. So, yeah. Very nice. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.